Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I have got a fun card for you today. Uh, this week I'm featuring the More Than Autumn bundle from our new 2024 Stampin' Up! Fall Holiday mini catalog. It's actually called the, let's see if I can remember, September to December 2024 mini catalog. This is my favorite bundle from that catalog. Um, it is, I mean, I've just scratched the surface with all of these uh, stamps that you can use, and uh, it's it's really a fun one. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. I'll have a lot of projects to show you. All right, we're gonna make a slide and lock card. If you've never seen a slide and lock card, you make this little slider like this that locks the card closed, and then when you open it, there it is. So on the back, basically, you've just made this little mechanism which slides in between those two pieces like that. It's really not hard, but it is really kind of a big wow, I think. But first, let's do our stamping. We are gonna use Memento Black, and we are gonna make two cups of hot cocoa. So we'll do two of the cups, and then we're gonna do two whipped creams. I always get whipped cream on my hot cocoa, always. And then we're gonna do a little gingerbread man. He's very cute. Two cinnamon sticks. I mean, there's so many accessory stamps in this set. I, I just, I couldn't stop. I wanted to use all of them. And then a straw. So maybe that one's not hot, maybe that's a frozen hot chocolate, right? <laughs> okay, let's start with our cups. I am using Real Red, and I was thinking about, um, let me get my light, Real Red. I was thinking about Starbucks and their red cups during uh, the holiday season. So I'm gonna do one with a red sleeve, and then I'll do one with a red cup and leave the sleeve white. So I'm gonna use light, Real Red, and I'm just gonna color this in. I am using the bullet tip end of my marker uh, just because when I use my brush end tip, I always end up getting out of the lines. All right, but I am gonna use the brush tip for this of the dark. I'm gonna take it and just kind of do like a swath, a swath like that. All right, I'm just gonna color some darker ink like that. And then you can take your brush end and just kind of flick that ink over so that it's blending out okay there now let's go back over here to our other cup and this time like i said i'm going to color the cup light red there is um, a cute little die cut in here that you can cut out to put words on your cup if you want you could stamp the words on your cup i mean goodness there's just so many options. All right, once we got that, for this one, I'm gonna take my bullet tip and I'm gonna add a shadow underneath that sleeve like that. Okay, there we go. Now you can also add a shadow Underneath this other one, if you want, you can take light crumb cake and just kind of go like that. It gives it a little bit of dimension. All right, now let's keep, while we have our real red, my lids are mixed up. I need to straighten that out. My dark lids are on my light marker and vice versa. All right, I'm gonna use copper clay for my cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna use copper clay light. So two cinnamon sticks. And one cute little gingerbread man. All right, now you are gonna get your dies and find the matching, the coordinating dies and cut these out. There's one for each of these, no fussy cutting. You also wanna get this heart right here and cut out a basic black heart. Here are those little words that you can put on your cup. This one says coffee and that one says latte. All right, so just for the sake of the video, I have already done that and I have them all cut out. So now I have got a stylish, nope, not a stylish shape, a nested essential 
rectangle. And we're gonna stamp the word hot cocoa. I'm gonna work from the bottom up. And I'm gonna stamp hot cocoa right here on the bottom in pecan pie. And then I'm gonna take real red. And again, look at your options. There's so many options. I ended up using this calls for hot cocoa, but you could say you had me at hot cocoa, nothing's better than, I mean, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it, there's just so many options. All right, and the, I'm gonna stamp that in real red right there, like that. Okay, now let's get our dimensionals. And let's just start layering up. Let me grab my bowl to put these in, whoa. There we go. My little trash bowl so that I don't have dimensionals on everything. All right, I'm gonna start with one. Let's see, let's start over higher, a little bit higher right there. And then this one, I'm gonna put a little bit lower like that. And then we'll put another dimensional right here. And let's see, did I leave myself enough room? Hopefully for that one. And then we'll get our whipped creams and put that there and that there like that. All right, now I'm gonna use my liquid glue and my take your pick tool to add in all of our little accents. Now, one thing I wanted to do was snip off the ends of these so that they kind of look like they're down in there. So I'm just gonna kind of snip the ends off at an angle. Let's do the same with the straw. All right, so we'll put the straw over here like that. And we'll put the cinnamon sticks right here. Now, if you're like me and you struggle picking up these little tiny things, use your take your pick tool. Okay, and it'll help that right there. All right, um, let's put our little cinnamon, our uh, gingerbread man here and our heart right here. And that one can go right there. Got a little messy with my glue as usual. All right, then we've got these really, really cute peppermint adhesive backed embellishments. Now these sold out almost immediately, but there's more coming. So don't worry if you didn't get some um, when the catalog went live this week, they are coming back and there will be plenty for you to get. Okay, now we've got our cute little tag. Now let's make the actual card part. Um, to make the mechanism that slides, you're gonna need four two inch squares and I've used real red. We're gonna take two of them and fold them in half, okay? And then I'm gonna get my glue. I'm gonna put glue on that side and that side. And I'm gonna line that up right there with those corners, like that. And this one's gonna go over here, like that. Let's get them nice and straight. So you can see how they're opening out. And then we'll add some more glue and we'll add that fourth one right on top. Okay, so you've made this little sandwich with the folded ones in the middle. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Now we've got to let this dry. So I'm gonna set this over here. You wanna put kind of some heavy things on it. So I'm gonna put my ink pads on it and let it dry all the way, hopefully before we need it. Okay, now you've got a piece of black, basic black, and I wanted this to look kind of like a chalkboard. So I'm gonna take a dauber and some white ink, and I'm just gonna add some white ink to the edge. I love the chalkboard look. Maybe it's the teacher in me, but I love it. All right, and then how about some faux stitching? You can use a white gel pen, or you can use our white watercolor pencil, which is what I'm gonna use. And you just wanna add some stitching down and around, whoops. And there we go. All right, 
let's add our tag with dimensionals, of course. Put that right there. And let's add our bow. My bow is right here, my ribbon. This is our black and vanilla large check ribbon. If I could use this ribbon on every single project, I would. That's how much I love it. Gingham is my all-time favorite pattern every, of everything. I want gingham on everything. Okay, mini glue dot. Do I have my mini glue dots here? Hmm, looks like they are not here. So maybe we can add this with a little dab of glue. It might not stay while we're putting our card together, but we can try. All right, so set that there. And you know what I do? Let me show you a little trick. When I have glue and I need something to hold it down, I use a clothespin. Okay, now for our card, you're gonna get a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of real red, scored at two and an eighth from each end. And then you're gonna fold that in. Now I have two pieces of our new Take a Bow designer series paper pack. It's a great paper pack of simple uh, holiday Christmas type patterns. Um, I'm gonna use this candy cane one here on the front. Now guys, there's a lot of pieces on this card. So make sure you go over to my blog. I'm gonna have a free PDF for you that'll have all the measurements and the supply list in case I forget to say any of it and you're wondering. All right, now on the end side, we are going to add first a piece of basic black and then a piece of basic white and another piece of this candy cane paper. It was left over when I cut the, the pieces for the front, so I thought let's use it, snip it off. Any of the patterns there in that take uh, a bow paper will be perfect for this. You can use any of them. And I'm just gonna add a little gingerbread guy there and we'll color him in. Just for some added whimsy. You know what else we could put there? Some, some peppermints. We have a lot of peppermints in this pack. So I'm not gonna worry too much about using them. I wanna make sure to use them up. Okay, last but not least, let's see. This is probably not drying. That bow is probably gonna fall off. Um, let's get that slide and lock. All right, it's gonna slide. This side's gonna slide on that car, on that um, side, and this one's gonna slide there. Let's see if I can pause that so you can see that, hopefully. And then it just slides down. And then we'll put dimensionals right here for the decorative piece that we made. And it goes right there. And there you go, a slide and lock. Christmas card. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Again, click the link, go back to my blog. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.